What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com and you are looking at a rover picture. This is from uh, Sol number 553. This is the Curiosity rover and it's uh, what's, what's up a big hill here. Let me show you, back you up a little bit and show you what we've got here. Just a couple things here in the foreground and then up in uh, so a couple blocks that look like they're symmetrical but up here in the top and uh, also a couple things down here we'll take a quick look at. There's just this over here that seems to have all sorts of shapes and uh, geometric uh, tubing or something like that. This looks a lot. This looks like it definitely wasn't just uh, rocks or something along those lines. And it's so easy to hide this stuff into the pictures, and uh, especially with the way look at the way Curiosity rover looks. It's so dusty right now with the dust on there. Um, it's amazing what metal could look like. Um, it's going to look like this dusty rocks, all sorts of stuff. So you've got some uh, what seem to be some weird candy cane shaped things here. But I'm really interested in this whole pieces right here. Um, what seemed to be decorated of some sort um, seemed to have, you know, an interesting rock here. They have circles. It's just all sorts of stuff. Right here it seems to have tubing that turns, perfect turns. Uh, 90 degree angles, things like that. Look, this one comes up. Now, let me show you where I got it from, and we're going to come back and uh, and right here, look at this, some of this stuff. This is pretty cool. So let's come back. Let me show you where I got it from, like I always do, and we'll come back taking our look at this. Oh, let's go here. Here's where I got it from. This, like I said, if, here's the link, link up here. Don't worry about copying it down. Hit the description button on YouTube. You'll see it. You can just click it. I link every picture I do. Every video I've ever made, there's a link so you can get the picture to it. So let's go back to Photoshop where I've brought it into. And you can see that it's the same picture. I haven't done anything to it. There we are. There and there. You can see the same thing. So what I want to do, what I want to do first is I'm just going to adjust it. I'm going to do some of these auto tone and auto, auto contrast. The auto tone seems to and auto color seems to give it the more earth-like feel to it and basically what it's doing is just going through and balancing it out how photoshop sees fit to balance it now when you get that i think things start popping out more you start seeing what look like rock a little bit better then you also start seeing what seems to be manipulation um up here seems to be manipulated look at the only the one color of this seems like it was painted off or something along those lines uh, very interesting how this seems to work, but this definitely what I'm really interested in here is this thing right here and what in the world it is. I don't even know what to call this video, like creepy ruins or this looks like a head of a statue or something along those lines. This seems to be poking up out of nowhere. It's got a uh, round piece to it to the left side um, up here at the top. It's got two perfect circles here or two perfect spheres that they're sitting there in the sun. And the whole thing seems to be you know one connected thing like one thing after another here seems to be a face of something but if you look here see how these things go up and they're just oh this one mouse does that sometimes the, the geometrics of it look at that how they just kind of go up and down they look like tubing and uh, they all follow the same type path like see here check this one out up here it looks like it's going from something up here it comes out here connects goes around comes down perfect little uh, half moon right here uh, comes out around here to the front, which seems like right here is where you start getting some stuff manipulated. It looks like the photo was, was messed with a little bit. Um, like we have these things, spots right here again. Once again, we have these vertical lines that get put into, uh, I guess they say it's getting put in by the rover, but anywhere there seems to be something that might have been a little bit standing out, it seems like they're added. So I don't know if they're adding these at NASA or something along those lines. Just your eyes seem to, th this looks like a face right there, but that's just your eyes, I think, matrixing stuff. Uh, my eyes doing it, at least. I see what I see, you see what you see. Don't complain about what I see, because <laughs> it's just what I see. I'm just equating this to stuff I've seen on Earth, and uh, this stuff definitely looks like some sort of a uh, hosing or possible, possible statues. Here we've got a shadow coming off of here. It looks like a shadow. It looks darker there. But see how this, uh, let's see if we can't pull this up. Maybe, uh, see what happens if we hit these other adjustments auto color not much I brought it a little bit a little bit different now let's go here and adjust the uh, exposure and play with the gamma a little bit see if we can't pull anything else out of it makes it a little bit blurry but see how this to me looks like some sort of statue that's standing it's kind of got weird, and almost looks like a weird sunken in head or something, but it actually 
not necessarily like ornate statue, but something that looks like it might have done something at one time. Like this was something there on this side of the hill that that had hoses or whatever this junk is here. So let me get, let me back out a little bit here, and uh, I don't know which is better with that on or not. Let me see the rest of the picture with that on real fast. See what comes up. This here, this is just interesting how this comes up and over like a candy cane. Um, how it grew like that, you know, how it ended up like that or shaped itself like that as a rock. But even when you pull out, you really start to see these, you know, the blur starts going away. And you can really see the, the geometric shapes and the symmetry between this stuff. And uh, what looks to be, see right here, seems to be perfect. Then all of a sudden you get that color here that's just whited out and blurred out like it's been tampered with. You know, I'm not guaranteeing that it was, but I wouldn't put it past anyone over at NASA to tamper with stuff. They said they, uh, I got people here that watch my videos and swear that these things aren't even on, you know, they're not on Mars. They're here somewhere. And God, I would be so disappointed if that was the case. If we ever found out that these were just sitting in a Mars yard somewhere in, uh, you know, in Arizona. But let me back this out a little bit. This is an interesting piece just because how smooth it was. Now it could be getting smoothed out just by sitting there on the surface. But it looked kind of like a piece of rubble or something along those lines that were just out of place. Here looked like a couple interesting pieces. This to how the uh, the strata just kind of hangs and it's kind of this whole area as we're going through now. There's so many it would seem to be like foundations of things. Um, down here we've got a creepy little thing too. This tell me this doesn't look like some sort of uh, effigy or something like that. Or here here's like the skull, and then here are these one two three four, you know, circles or spears that are placed on this platform. Uh, and at the end, look like that. I mean, to me, that looks like a skull. When I first saw that, I was like, that's a creepy little thing there. Make that bigger for you guys. Let me back it out a little bit. Do step backwards. Step backwards. Step backwards. This is what it came like. See, it's a big difference. Step forward one more time. So. And that's just kind of on the corner of it there. Let's check out anything else here that's worthwhile taking a look at. I'm sure you guys will find other stuff. That's what my subscribers, my best. I haven't been getting back to commenting on everybody's too much recently. I will get back to the comments. I said everything's been so hectic since Dad died. Uh, things here with Mom and just in general trying to get life back in order, you know, and uh, figure out what's what, basically, and uh, what needs to be done and what doesn't need to be done, what bills need to be paid, all that good stuff. So... We're uh, having fun with that, <laughs> but this gives me something to come and actually do, and it, it, this stuff has always been my hobby. That's why I started making these videos. I, uh, I've been collecting these photos. I'm 33 now. Like I said I, I told you guys before, I've been collecting them as long as I can remember. I used to run a bulletin board service uh, you know, right out of my house with uh, four four phone lines drenched into the yard before we actually had you know, the internet. So four people could talk, and me, I was a sysop, I could actually talk. And uh, before the internet, so it was like AOL before AOL hit with chat rooms and stuff. It was pretty cool. So I've been doing this, trading pictures. And once uh, once that era came and the uh, modems were replaced by uh, actual high-speed internet and NASA had their website, I was all over these pictures. So I've always been looking through books and stuff, always interested in the stuff like what Richard Hoagland had to say. These seams out here, do you guys see the boxiness of this stuff? It almost looks like everything is, is just covered. Um, some of the stuff made it out to the top. You know, things that have been tossed around like rocks, but I can imagine most of the stuff under that anything that we would actually see that would be a civilization or anything along those lines has just been covered up. Now, we've gotten a lot of amazing things from these pictures, don't get me wrong. Um, a lot of smoking guns, a lot of stuff, but and this one's no smoking gun. This is just one I thought was fun. This is kind of interesting here as well. Um, seems like it's been kind of toyed around with, but. What is that? So what do you guys think on this, though? I mean, do you guys does that look like a natural foundation? If that looks natural to you, put up a picture or something, or something on Earth or something. I can actually put my... I've been a lot of... I've gone to a lot of hiking, been all over Shenandoah, been all over all sorts of parts of this country. Uh, never seen anything like this. So much love, guys. It's Will, What's Up in the Sky 37, www.whatsupinthesky.com. Check there for updates. You can get all my videos there. I'm going to start adding some of my other buddies' videos there, too, because we got so much stuff that needs to get out there. And I got some, like, I got Christian, Chris, uh, like all sorts of good people doing these uh, videos now. And it's hard to keep track of them all. So I'm going to 
give some of these guys their own access to my website. If they want to post stuff, they can. And uh, otherwise, when I see something cool, I'll be posting it on there as well. So much love, guys. Take it easy. Peace.